Let's go ahead and quickly download data. Link to this page is in the description. There are steps here on how to download the data. Let's go ahead and start the web soil survey. And we're gonna go ahead and just download an entire county's worth of data. So now we can scroll to the top and we can see we have different ways of examining this data. Of course, we just want to download it. And this will let us go ahead and reselect some of those same options if we're working at the county level. So go ahead and download this zip file, open it, and copy the contents to your local hard drive. Okay, our next step is to populate this Microsoft Access database. So we'll do that by opening this file in Microsoft Access. We can click through any security warning and we need to go ahead and copy the location of that tabular directory into this space. Click OK and this will take probably a minute or two to populate. OK, we've finished importing all that data. Click Exit and now we need to shift into the Tables view. Scroll down to MU Agate. So we're just going to export this as an Excel spreadsheet. Click OK. We need to go ahead and add two files the spreadsheet we just created. So we can double click to do that. And then we need to add a shapefile. And the one we're going to add is this first one, the soil mu underscore a underscore. This portion will change depending on where you got your data from. So if we open the attribute table for the shapefile, we can see an mu key. So this is going to be the key we use to join these data sets. And we're gonna do this by searching for join attributes by field data. And we do the input layer, the table field. We're gonna use mu key, the table, Input layer two is going to be MU agate, and then table field two is also MU key. You can create a layer or you can just let it save as a temporary file. That's what I'll do. Close this out, open the attribute table for the joined layer, and now we have all of that data appended.